Hi everyone, so today's video was a request by Rosie. She left a comment on one of my YouTube channels saying that she'd like to see a photo corner made on the Scan and Cut, something like the Martha Stewart one. Now, I have to admit, I didn't know what she was talking about at the time, so I went and did some research, and I think she means this. So this is a photo corner that I've designed in Scan and Cut Canvas just from basic shapes. I've just cut it at two different sizes so you can see it here. There are some plain photo corners in the machine, which I will show you in a minute. So just to show you quickly where they are in the machine, I'm using the SDX 2200 and I go into patterns and then into kind of like the shapes where you get into all the flowers and holiday stuff. Now in my machine, they're in the frames section and when you scroll down, there are some photo corners here, which are just flat photo corners. But if you want to know how I designed this, that you can then cut in any size you want, keep watching. Using Canvas Workspace for web, and the first thing that I did was came over to the basic shapes, and I had a look through here, and I found this shape. Now, I'm going to grab a corner and take the width down to 0 0.75 of an inch, so three quarters of an inch. Or thereabouts. You can make yours any size you want. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do while it's selected is right click and make a duplicate. And then I'm just going to zoom in on them both in the hope that you can see it better. I'm going to select one of them, hold the shift key down and rotate it so it's vertical. Then I'm going to bring the other one in and you want this line going up here to be level and you want them to overlap slightly. So what I'm going to do, this one that's selected, I'm going to make it red in the hope that you might be able to see it better. And I'm going to zoom in a bit more. I'm just going to bring this over until they overlap and that hopefully they line up in a straight line here. I'm going to select both. I'm going to go to Edit and Weld. And if they're overlapped, they'll weld. Now they've not welded together, so I need to bring this one so it overlaps a little bit more. Again, I'm going to select both, go to Edit and Weld. And now they've welded together. So I'm going to come to the Path icon and left click to select it. I'm going to come down here to the bottom of this shape and you'll see a box appear. I'm going to left click once, hold my shift key down and then I'm just going to move the mouse vertically without pressing anything until it reaches this red line here and you'll see a box appear. Then I'm going to left click once and let go, still holding the shift key down, drag the line out and then double click to anchor it. Now this line is still selected. I'm going to come to the properties box. I'm going to make it a cut line but this time I'm going to make it a dashed line and then close the box. So they will become my fold lines. So now I'm going to select everything, right click and make it a group. And that is my photo corner. Now I'm just going to select it and right click and duplicate it. And then I'm going to drag it out to make it bigger. So you can now make this as big or as small as you want to fit anything. So to fit an actual photo, to fit a matting layer on a card, to fit a scrapbook page, whatever you want. All as you need to do now is come over here and give your project a name and then download it to your scan and cut machine and it's ready to cut.
So I hope you found that helpful. Please leave me any questions or comments underneath the video and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.